Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls for when it's dark. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all tucked up and cosy and ready for another Lights Out Bedtime story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight. Day 21 of Awesome Author August. Because tonight's story is called The Antlered Ship by Dashka Slater and the Fan Brothers. It's a pretty beautiful book as well. Once upon a time, the day the antlered ship arrived, Marco the fox wandered about the wide world. He had so many questions. Why do some songs make you happy and others make you sad? Why don't trees ever talk? How deep does the sun go when it sinks into the sea? But when he posed these questions to the other foxes, they grew silent. What does that have to do with chicken stew? They would ask. So Marco went down to the harbour to see the ship. Three deer greeted him at the gangplank. Marco was not surprised to learn that they were lost. We hope to hire a seaworthy crew, explained Sylvia, the captain. I'm afraid we aren't very good sailors. I will join you, Marco said. He thought to himself, I will search the seas for foxes who know the answer to my questions. A pigeon named Victor volunteered along with his entire flock. We want to have an adventure, they cooed. Welcome aboard, Captain Sylvia said. We're going to a wonderful island with tall sweet grass and short sweet trees. When we get there, we'll eat a delectable dinner. But the voyage was more difficult than anyone had expected. It rained, waves crashed over the sides of the deck. Why is water so wet? Marco wondered. The pigeons weren't used to the hard work of raising and lowering the sails. After the first day, they went below deck and played checkers and stayed there. The deer worried about sharp rocks and fierce pirates and fleeing sick. They huddled in the bow and waited for something bad to happen. After days of drifting and dining on crackers, the animals were damp and cranky. We should have stayed in the woods, Sylvia said. Deer aren't supposed to go to sea. We should have stayed in the park, added Victor. Pigeon aren't supposed to do all the hard labour. Marco eyed the deer and the pigeons. Foxes aren't supposed to be vegetarians, he said. Still... We must do the best we can. So that evening, Marco found a recipe book in the gallery and cooked a warm and reviving stew. Shall we look at the charts? he asked after everyone had eaten. We might find adventure here, said Victor. And trouble here, said Sylvia. We'll find the island with the tall sweet grass and the short trees here. And perhaps foxes too, Marco thought. Foxes with answers. As they plotted the course, the wind picked up. The storm clouds thinned into marvellous swirls. Raise the sails, Sylvia cried. In the morning, they came to the maze of sharp rocks, each one large enough to tear the bottom from the boat. But the pigeon flew ahead tracing a path through the shoals and sharp rocks to the safety of the open sea. The next afternoon, a pirate ship burst from behind a rocky island. Turn over your treasure, the pirate captain bellowed. I will put a hole in your helm. Lower the antlers, Sylvia commanded. The ships crashed and clashed and smashed until the pirates turned and fled. 
That evening, an island appeared on the horizon with tall waving grass and short swaying trees. We found it, Sylvia cried. We've triumphant, Victor cooed. Do you see any foxes? Marco asked. The deer grazed the grass and nibbled the trees. The pigeons told stories of their adventures to a flock of admiring seagulls. Marco scoured the island for foxes, but he didn't find any. I have failed, Marco told Victor and Sylvia. No foxes, no one to answer my questions. What questions? Victor asked. Marco took a deep breath. Do islands like being alone? Do waves look more like horses or swans? And what's the best way to find a friend you can talk to? The last one's easy, Sylvia said. You make friends by eating together. I disagree, said Victor. You make friends by having adventures together. Maybe you're both right, said Marco. But I think you make friends by asking them questions. Well then, mused Sylvia, should we head home tomorrow or should we visit the island of the scrumptious shrubbery? Are two adventures enough? asked Victor. Or should we have at least one more? It's better to know what's going to happen, Marco wondered. Or better to be surprised. There were so many questions left unanswered and so many more to ask. So in the morning they raised their anchor, hoisted the heavy sails. They knew now that the wind would come up and go. The clouds would sometimes make marvellous swirls and sometimes make them wet and that everything they hoped to find could be found aboard the antlered ship on the way to wherever they were going. The end. <laughs>